Hey everyone, Captain Paul here for another video and today's a special video because we reached 1000 subs and I've got a gift for you. Make sure you carry on watching. Now my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications when I do more videos like this. And if you do like it, give it a thumbs up, always appreciated. So yesterday, this channel reached an amazing milestone, 1,000 subscribers, which is just amazing. I've got to thank every single one of you that's taken the time to subscribe. Really appreciate it. Love you all. I started this channel, well, I started it last year, but in January, I committed to doing a regular video. And at that time, I had 11 subscribers, so in... What is it? Where are we at? 13th of April. In three and a half months, I've reached 1,000 subscribers. And today, I think we're on about 1,023. Absolutely incredible. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to create the interior for a handwriting notebook. Very popular with kids, especially at the moment with lockdown. These are part of the whole activity uh, book series book groups and what i'm also going to do i'm going to give you this interior for free it's going to be in a dot svg file so that you can edit it in your vector editing software which could be illustrator or free software like gravit or inkscape so you can alter it do what you like with it um, but with the png dot png file you'll be able to just copy and save that to PowerPoint or or what do I use keynote so so we're going to go over to Illustrator and we've got our blank page 8.5 by 11 inches now I have a border that I use um, it stop, stops me straying over to the bleed areas on either side now this border is designed for a left-sided page but I'm going to create this so that it can be used on both the left and right sided pages. So we start with the pen tool, press P, start near the top, give it enough breathing room on the left and then go straight across to this side. And we're going to use a stroke weight of one. Now we're going to press Alt. Just high so I'm press Alt and then just drag down, keeping that in the center to about there. And now press Command D, boom. It'll do a copy of the line. Now we don't want these um, thick black lines. So we've got our three black lines here and we don't want them that black. So I was going to highlight the top and the bottom lines, go to our swatches. and make them grey. Now this one we want dotted so I'm going to go to my brushes go onto the dotted line and over to our colour swatches and make this light. So see now we've got our, our lines here and we're going to highlight those three lines press Alt to drag down keeping that in the centre just there About right and then press command D go all the way down to the bottom and there we have it now we can get rid of our border like so and then we have our lined page I'm just going to move all of these lines just down a bit there we go to make it look nice and there we've got our handwriting practice page now what you could do with this at home on your computer is create letters that children can outline. I'm just going to show you briefly how to do that. So we go to the, the type key and just anywhere, press enter and then do say the letter A. So we've got a little letter there, just drag it up and holding down the shift, just drag it so it's a bit bigger. Now the font I used for this is an Arial Rounded MT Bold, which is a nice sort of child-friendly 
type font. Now this is a bit dark for children to, to trace with, so we'll just go for, um, for a lighter fill color. And there we go. And you could press Alt, just highlight that, press Alt, drag it along like so, and press Command D again, boom, 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 boom. And we've got all our letters there that kids can now trace. And you could do a page of A's or a few lines of A's, B's. You could do all types of things with this. So that's it. Relatively simple to, to create. Um, but that, I'll give you the link below. You can go download the .svg file, download the .png file, use them as much as you like and as you um, wish. And also... You could put letters on there. You could put letters with little arrows where the, the kids could trace around the, the letters also. There's lots of different options. Go and have a look on Amazon and you'll see that these are selling well. Got fantastic bestsellers ranks. Um, some of them are sort of quite competitive. So make sure you do your research on your keywords to get a low competitive keyword. That's it for now. Remember, hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell. And until next time, Goodbye.